This is Yuri Mitrov's busiest time of year. But instead of driving a truck, he's delivering online orders from an electric cargo bike. It's definitely easier getting around the city. Um, you can go up and down all the one-way streets. Uh, I can go up on the sidewalks. I don't have to worry about parking enforcement. These three e-bikes, part of a pilot project in downtown Toronto that FedEx plans to expand to other Canadian cities. E-commerce is not going away. Those mega trends we're seeing are not going to go away. So the bike has given us a definite advantage in those markets. This environmental policy researcher says there's lots of opportunity to reduce the carbon footprint in deliveries. In Canada, transportation emissions is one of the highest emitting sectors and freight is a big chunk of that. Uh, we need to look to move towards innovative zero emission delivery methods. FedEx isn't the first to switch from four wheels to two. Uh, today, we are doing uh, near 5,000 deliveries a week. Montreal's Calibri project started testing out e-cargo bikes last fall, turning an old bus station into a mini e-bike hub. In dense areas, bikes plus many hubs are profitable for the companies, are less uh, emitting greenhouse gas emission, using less space, more secured for pedestrians and bikes. And in Vancouver, a company called Shift offers local businesses environmentally friendly delivery. Still, there are hurdles in Canada. Uh, in Vancouver, water is a big problem. Yes. From government regulations to winter weather and high costs. On that front, some experts want the government to chip in. They are expensive to not, not, just, not only just import, but also to service and maintain. Uh, at this time. So the more we can get uh, government to help support with incentives, we can really start opening up the industry. For now, companies will have to make the investment on their own. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.